Well, good morning and Merry Christmas to everyone who watches. All seven of you. Nah, I'm being generous. All three of you. <laughs> anyway, so, um, yeah, today's Christmas and, uh, we did our, our fun with the kiddo this morning and then his grandparents came over and, uh, whisked him away. So we are childless for several hours and uh, since it is such a perfect day out here I thought you know I gotta get something out it's too good of a day to, to sit around doing nothing or yard work or whatever I could do all those things but I'd much rather fly so I brought out the T28 E-Flight 1.2 meter um, this is upgraded I got I was not real happy with the stock performance as with pretty much every plane I buy so um, the motor is a Leopard Hobby 4250 size 960 kV which was rather difficult to uh, get installed there but we managed it uh, running a 70 amp speed control which I am going to much much overwork um, and uh, APC 12 by 12 propeller. So this setup on the watt meter on the bench is about 84 amps. Yeah, my 70 amp speed control is gonna hate me. Uh, the good side is, since I got rid of that cowling, it's not pretty, I know it's not pretty, but um, I, couldn't, I couldn't fit that motor and keep the cowling, so I had to uh, get rid of it. That should allow um, a good amount more airflow through the battery bay and keep that speed control from cooking itself. Uh, but we'll see. That's worst case scenario today. So let's get her going. 60 degrees, zero wind, sunny. What more can you ask for, man? Nothing. You can ask for nothing more. That propeller just sounds so mean. I love it. Um, I have that propeller and I also have a uh, um, APC 12 by 9 W wide blade. Um, I haven't done a watt meter test on that propeller, uh, but I'm kind of limited to these kinds of propellers because of that eight millimeter uh, prop shaft. Um, I know you can ream out a propeller, but I've had really bad luck with that lately. I've, I've messed up probably 90% of the propellers I've tried to ream out for a bigger uh, prop shaft over the past year. I've just had a really bad run, so um, I'm going to stick with factory stuff. Anyway, how's about I shut up and uh, let's get this guy up in the air. Sorry, I'm going to point you right at the sun. I'm going to try not to do that. Okay, well the canopy's off. I can't stand that stuff, man, but you know what? Don't care. I won't get too crazy and maybe the battery won't come out. Maybe everything will stay cool. Oh, I need to do some, some work on that plane, get those magnets a little more solid. Here we go. Ooh, she's fast. Now, uh, I said I wasn't going to, did I say that? I don't know if I said it or if I thought it. I wasn't going to go too crazy. Um, the battery I'm running is a 4S2200, which I can't imagine is going to be too very happy about, you know, ripping 80 plus amps, except it's a Turnigy Graphene Panther 75C pack. I know it's not a real 75C, but boy, she don't care about that, man. 
And this is what I wanted. Uh, with the exception of the canopy falling off, I was never very happy with this plane. And this, this is what it needed. This is what it needed right here. Monster motor, monster propeller, way too much power. Recipe for success as far as I'm concerned. Hey, hey, hey. I can see the gyros messing around a little bit, but not bad at all. Um, so, I'm, I'm really happy with this. Uh, let me get my canopy out of the way so I don't run it over when I land like a fool. Ooh, she's fast. <laughs> um, all right, so dump her over this way. Oh, I walked past it. I, crap, 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 crap. All right, we're going to do a little one hand action here. Give me about half throttle. Get that canopy off the ground and let's put it over here. Uh, okay. Let's bring the gear down. Gear down. Turn her around. Give her some half flaps action here. Let's see if we can't land this sucker. I had a real bad crash earlier this week and I'm not, I'm not quite recovered from it yet. I didn't get a video and I'm sorry about that. Ooh, 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 ooh. All right, hey. That'll do, that will do. That will do. That will do. Um, yeah, I lost my free wing venom a couple days ago. Real sad day, man. Uh, I made a rookie mistake. And I paid the price. All right, hey, you know what? I am now happy with this plane. I'm happy with it. It only took a ton of work and let's see about this. That speed controller is quite warm. <laughs> oh goodness. Um, all right, so we're showing one minute, 53 seconds remaining, right? And this is one where it starts and stops the timer at 25% throttle instead of just starting at one time. So let's see. All right, so I did just over three minutes of on throttle time, right? And, oops. Three eight three, three eight three, three eight four, three eight three. Perfect. Three minutes on a four cell twenty two hundred. I'm happy. Um, so yeah, what happened was uh, before I get another pack ready, while that speed control cools down, um, I was flying the same runway here, and I was coming into land right. So I went across the runway, down that way, and I tried to do a real fancy stall turn with my venom because it was, it was real windy. And I thought I could get away with it. I thought I could bring it over, do a real fancy stall turn, and then come into the runway. And, uh, well, it did exactly what I wanted, except it fell right out of the sky. It did its stall turn on the rudder, turned it over, hit the elevator to, to bank and yank and rudder a little bit, and it just fell right out of the sky. I had no time to react. <laughs> Yeah, I paid the price on that big one, so oops. All right, that's one battery down. Okay. I keep my batteries on my dash so they stay warm in the sunlight. 
warm battery is a happy battery. Um, I don't have anything really to keep that canopy on. So I may go ahead and fly without it. What's happening is, like I said before, I got rid of that canopy and uh, so now there's airflow into the battery bay, which is good for cooling, but it's pressurized. And that magnet is not enough. So what I'm, I'm gonna have to figure that out. I don't know the answer yet, but I'll figure something out. I'll figure something out. So if you're like me and you want a lot more performance out of a plane like this, this is not a bad way to go, except it's difficult. Uh, except, you know, um, the work of getting that motor mounted was quite significant. Uh, so, I don't know, some people say, take the stock setup and run four cell. I did that. Uh, but I did it on a watt meter first and with my four cell packs it pulled over 70 amps and people are doing that on the stock 40 amp speed control. I, I don't I mean who am I to judge I do that crap all the time, but uh, No, I don't man That seems a little much. So I did that too. I put a 70 amp uh, Speed control in there, right? And I did a couple flights and that sucker was scorching hot that 70 amp speed control um so i don't know what to tell you man if you want to do that 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 stock propeller is a beast of a propeller it's like a 12 by 7 by 3 with a bull nose that's like that's like an inch thick an inch and a quarter thick it's a hard thick bull nose and i mean it sounds amazing but uh I think that propeller is why this, out of the um, multiples of different 1.2 meter warbirds that E-Flight sells, this is the one that, that is not recommended for four cell. I think it's because of that propeller. But here we are again. I'm running my mouth instead of flying. I apologize. Let's get her going. After this flight, what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to the 12 by 9 and stick with the 2200. After that flight, I'll do a 12 by 12 on a 3000 four cell. After that flight, I'll do a 12 by 9 on a 3000 four cell. Let's get her going. If any of you are familiar with the uh, Hobby King Fun Fighters from back in the day, maybe 10 years ago, maybe not 10 years ago, just a while ago, uh, this is that kind of speed. Oh man, I hope this video is in frame. I'm going to be so mad if I forgot to put my hat up again. Unlimited vertical. All right, let's chill out here. I'm running that battery real hard. Real hard. Let's see how she glides. I brought 2200s and I brought 3000s because I wanted to see if running lighter weight would be better. It's always better, but uh, how much better it would be. 
Yeah, I hope this is in frame. You can see, uh, even with my motor upgrades, a little extra weight on board from that. She'll glide for a good while. And away we go. And the other thing she'll do is cruise all day on like 20% throttle. Let's see, we're uh, 30%. I stand corrected. Let's do a little half flaps. There we go, half flaps. Look at you, man. Use a little rudder. Keep that wing as level as we can. Getting a little frisky on me, but that three axis gyro is doing work for me right now. This is about 30% throttle, half flaps. She don't mind one bit. I bet if I start getting a little frisky, maybe we'll have some kind of a problem, but not yet. Boop, zero flaps. Time check, two minutes, 30 seconds. All right, so we're gonna cruise around a little bit more. We're gonna rip one or two more fast passes. I'd like to get a low one right down the runway. Let's do that right now. I'm gonna come stand over here, throttle her up a little, bring it around, punch it. I gotta tell you, I was considering buying another um, FMS Rock Hobby P39 Cobra, the 980 millimeter one that I had before that crashed before I ever started making videos. Um, that may not be necessary now because I have this. It's very good. Very, very good. All right, we need to start thinking about a landing. So, gear down. Speed down. But if I get my hefty butt out of the way here, I'm gonna have to pass again, man. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Gyros are doing work for me today. Bring it up. Swing it around. You can just hear that propeller churning up the air. All right, here we go. Cut power, half laps, and do some work. Ooh, that was pretty. <laughs> Crank it around. Hey. All right, so that was two flights back to back with uh, 12 by 12. Come over here, buddy. Come over here. Here we go. All right. That was a, a four minute flight because I had to go around again. Let's see what our voltage is. Pop that out of there for me, buddy. All right. Ooh, we took it down. 376 across the board. Now that wind is starting to pick up. It's four seconds. Switch propellers with my little skateboard tool. <laughs> Come on, man. Um, speed control is warm, motor is cool to the touch. All right. 
these are actually not quite the right size. And I'm, you know what? Uh, I spoke too soon. So the problem is um, this is really, really close to eight millimeters. And this is really, really close to eight millimeters. And so I had to really, uh, the only way I was able to get that prop seated was to put the nut on and crank it down. Um, so it doesn't matter. I could run this without a prop nut right now. It's so tight, but I won't do that. Unfortunately, that also means <laughs> it's never going to come off ever. <laughs> I don't think I could ever get that thing to come off. Okay. Um, I'm going to call it good on this video. I'll take a couple more videos, um, just to see if, if this one is crap. And maybe I have a backup video, uh, but otherwise this will be the one that I upload. Merry Christmas, happy holidays, happy flying. Um, hopefully I'll see you guys soon. Happy flying, bye.